Hi, I'm Aditya. This is a breakdown video of my audio implementation process in an open source game Psychobot. You can check out the gameplay video at the end of this video or using the button above. In this video, I will quickly go through my Y session and a few blueprints that I made for the sounds to work. Let's start with talking about the dynamic ambience, reverbs and spatial audio implementation. I used an AK spatial audio volume actor to cover the whole map whereas an AK reverb zone actor to cover the whole building area. Both of these actors gives the flexibility to add an event with additional spatial audio features like late reverb, diffraction and early reflections. For the outside area, I am using a wind loop and small birds chirping as beds and a loop of 3D emitters of the birds at a distance such as eagles, falcons and owl hoots with an automation. I added a randomization to these emitters by adding a random amount of silence between each sample with the help of a sequence container. In the automation for these emitters, multiple paths were created to make birds revolve around the listener. Different attenuation and late reverb settings for each emitter were used to adjust distance of the emitters. The AK reverb zone on the other hand was used to block off some outside sounds instead of just adding the reverb. This actor uses its surface to adjust the transmission value of the sounds coming from the parent actor it is attached to, which in this case is the outside AK spatial audio volume actor. My aim for this building area was something like instead of this box having its own room tone, it obstructs the sounds coming from the outside ambience from all the sides except the floor. I define certain values of transmission width and transmission loss to achieve a seamless transition between inside and the outside area. Now let's hear what our overall ambience sounds like. For the footsteps in the game, I wanted the footstep sounds to switch themselves according to the material the player is walking on. So I used the line phrase by channel function in the blueprints to do this. This function draws a line from the center of the targeted actor, downwards in this case with a defined Z value and helps us fetch the coordinates of the actor in the world, which in our case is the player. The get surface type function then gets the material type at that location and sends the name of the material to a function called set switch. Now before moving on further, let's see how this get surface type function gets the material type. I have defined 7 types of surfaces in this project like concrete, dirt, grass, metal, plastic, rocks and sand and created physical materials for each of them. Then I went through the environment materials and assigned those physical materials to each of them correspondingly. This is how our function fetches the material type. The set switch function switches the material from the switch group created inside WISE and posts the event. In WISE, the sounds play using a footstep switch container with all the random containers for each material type. I've added anim notifiers to the place running, jumping and landing animations to trigger the footsteps and jumping blueprints. Now let's see how our footstep sounds like. For the interactables in this game, let's talk about the jetpack which is attached with the player. I used the anim notifiers on the bot animations for this just like I used for the footsteps. The jetpack start anim notifier is attached to the bot hover animation to trigger the jetpack start and looping sounds whereas the jetpack stop anim notifier is attached to the bot fall animation to stop the sound. For the other interactable objects like orb, elevators, fans and bushes. 
I went through their blueprints and added the post event functions at the appropriate nodes. However, unfortunately, the bushes are baked into the landscape of this map. Hence, I placed box colliders on each bush to trigger the sound on collision. Now, let's hear the sounds in the gameplay. I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching.